today we are looking uh, the Cohen Tucker conditions and the question given is uh, for the maximum condition and subject to constraint and we have to find all those uh, values which has been given uh, a is that is our Cohen Tucker condition B C and D are given conditions that is uh, x greater than 0 y equal to 0 and lambda equal to 0 and so on and also satisfied whether the satisfied the conditions Cohen Tucker or does, doesn't not conditions and E part uh, in which uh, conditions B, C and D uh, find the optimal conditions like uh, X star, Y star and uh, uh, lambda star and in uh, last two parts that is a maximum value function that is a utility function and all the derivative that is uh, uh, partial X over partial Px uh, partial X over partial Py and partial X over partial P uh, B and so on all the comparative derivative we have to find out now first of all we have to find uh, uh, the Cohen Tucker condition first of all uh, we take the Lagrange function that is a, a Lagrangian function Lagrangian function uh, this function will be uh, we can write it at z is equal to a l n x plus b plus 1 minus a ln y minus c this is a given function and this will be a constraint so we can write it a plus lambda into b minus x px minus y py so this will be a lagrange function now first of all we have to apply the all the cohen tucker conditions so we take the partial derivatives uh, because we have a variable that is x, y and and lambda. So first of all, uh, partial z over partial x. Uh, to, uh, we can write it as zx. We can write it as zx. So when we take zx ka derivative, lehenge, to what we have to write, that is uh, ln means 1 upon x plus b. And again we have to take the derivative of x plus b that is equal to a 1 and all the remaining values are 0 and from here that is we can write it x uh, lambda into p of x so uh, this will be equal to 0 this will be equal to 0 <coughs> or less than equal to 0 now we take the partial derivative partial z over partial y that is z y uh, now we have to take with respect to y so uh, there will be no value of x from this uh, term but there is so we can uh, write it 1 minus a and we can write 1 upon y minus c and here minus lambda into p of y less than equal to 0 and lastly partial z over partial lambda so we can write it all these values b minus x p x minus y p y which is greater than equal to 0 now a uh, Cohen Tucker conditions uh, uh, we know that that is a variable x x is always greater than equal to 0 y is greater than equal to 0 and lambda is also greater than equal to 0 and lastly uh, x dot z of x x dot z of x or we can say that is a z of x equal to 0 Similarly, uh, y z y or z y equal to 0 and lastly, lambda into z lambda that is equal to z lambda equal to 0. So, these are the Cohen Tucker conditions uh, which he asked in part A. Now, uh, we are looking towards part B and in part b uh, they they have asked me the conditions uh, that is uh, that will be applicable that is the condition uh, b part in a b part that is uh, uh, x is greater than equal uh, greater than 0 y equal to 0 and lambda is greater than 0 this is the b part so we can uh, write it now uh, now these partial derivative we can uh, uh, write it a upon x plus b 
minus lambda p of x e equal to 0 that is the first equation this will be 1 minus a upon y minus c minus lambda p y equal to 0 that is a second equation and lastly b minus x p x minus y p y equal to 0 that is a third equation now we have to apply uh, we have to find x y and lambda uh, the values now we have to write first of all i can put y equal to 0 from equation third so uh, i can write it b minus x p x minus y p y equal to 0 so this will be a 0 when i put the values of y equal to 0 y equal to 0 so this will be a b equal to x into p of x x into p of x and x here is will be b upon p of x so this will be a value of uh, x we can find easily now from equation 1 we can also find the values that is a lambda from from equation 1 from equation 1 uh, so we have to put the value of x in equation 1 so we can easily find the value of lambda so a upon uh, b upon p of x plus b equal to lambda p of x what i have to do i just have to uh, put the value of x in equation 1 here here just only so uh, i can write it a into p of x upon b plus b p of x that is equal to lambda p of x this will be a cancel out so lambda will be a upon b plus b p of x this will be a lambda now uh, these are the uh, values that is x equal to b upon p of x here is here is lambda and y is given there so now we have to check the conditions of cohen tracker in the partial derivative whether these conditions are satisfied or not so first of all from equation from the zx partial derivative a upon x plus b minus lambda p of x less than equal to 0 we have to put the values of x and lambda a upon uh, what is the value of x that is here b upon p of x plus b minus here is the uh, lambda and th this will be the value of lambda we have to put on a upon b plus b p of x into p of x less than equal to 0 so i can write it here a p of x upon b plus b p of x minus a p of x upon b plus b p of x less than equal to 0 so this will be a 0 less than so condition is satisfied satisfied so our first constraint that is partial derivative zx is satisfied now we have to check the zy whether these are uh, this uh, uh, equation constraint is uh, satisfied or not now we take uh, the second equation constraint that is a partial derivative 1 minus a upon y minus c minus lambda p of y less than or equal to 0 now y uh, is already given that is a y equal to 0 so 1 minus a upon minus c and we have to put the value of lambda that is minus a upon b plus b p of x b p of x into p of y p of y less than or equal to 0 so uh, i can clearly see that this will be not uh, satisfied the condition uh, does not satisfy the satisfied the condition satisfied the condition so we move uh, to the further uh, that is uh, uh, part c uh, uh, the next condition what are the conditions there now move towards the c part that is c part the condition is now x is equal to 0 and y is greater than equal to 0 
and in b it was uh, we solved that is a b part y is equal to 0 now x is equal to 0 we have already solved these questions equations from uh, partial derivative now we have to put these values in equation 1 2 and 3 equations so uh, first of all uh, when i have to put x is equal to 0 from equation third b that is x px plus y py when we put the values of x is equal to 0 this will be whole 0 that is b equal to y p of y and y will become b upon p of y so this will be a value of y now we have to find uh, uh, that is uh, the value of uh, y so we can find here from uh, y that is uh, uh, from equation 2 1 minus a upon y minus c equal to and there is lambda into py so i can put the value of uh, lambda into py we have no value of lambda that is lambda equal to uh, so lambda will becomes equal to 1 minus a y minus c into p of y so this will be a value of lambda this will be a value of a lambda now we what we have to we have find all the three values that is x equal to zero which is a given and we find y and lambda now we have to take uh, satisfying the conditions of Cohen Tucker so first of all partial zx that is a upon x plus b minus lambda p of x less than equal to zero so we have to put when we have to put x is equal to zero that is a given condition so this will be a upon b and minus we have to put the value of lambda that is this one 1 minus a upon y minus c into p of y into p of x less than equal to zero so what will be is it a uh, uh, condition satisfied so doesn't doesn't no condition satisfied uh, doesn't con uh, satisfied the condition so we have to move uh, now the in a part b uh, Cohen Tucker conditions not satisfied now we'll will have to move towards the part uh, d in d part now we have to uh, that is a part d d part and in d part uh, all the conditions are greater than zero see now we have to put uh, now we have to solve uh, from these equations we have to find the value of uh, uh, that is x y and lambda so first of all from equation one one equation a upon x plus b <coughs> equal to lambda <coughs> <coughs> of x so here <coughs> uh, <coughs> now we have to uh, find the values of x from the equation 1 so we I can write it that is a equal to x plus b into lambda p of x so x plus b will becomes a upon lambda into p of x and x will be a upon lambda p of x minus b this will be a value of x now we have to find the value of y from equation 2 so from equation 2 from equation 2 that is 1 minus a upon y minus c that is equal to lambda p of y again we have to take cross multiply 1 minus a equal to y minus c into y lambda into p of y so y minus c equal to 1 minus a upon lambda p of y so y will be 1 minus a lambda p of y plus c so this will be the value of y now we have to x and y we have both our values put in part c so we have to put the values of x and y in part c b equal to x 
p of x plus y p of y b equal to x this will be a a upon lambda p of x minus b into p of x plus y from here 1 minus a upon lambda p of y plus c and p of y now we have to multiply these values so this will be when we multiply here from this term so this will be a upon lambda and this will be a b p of x plus and when we multiply p y from this term so 1 minus a upon lambda and plus c into p of y that is equal to a b now i can uh, further solve this equation that is a upon lambda minus b p of x plus 1 upon lambda minus a upon lambda plus c p y that is equal to a b so b will, will come equal to this will be a cancel out so this will be a minus b p of x uh, plus c p y plus 1 upon lambda 1 upon lambda so i can write it uh, that is 1 upon lambda equal to uh, this will be shift towards the other side so b plus b p of x minus c p y so lambda will become equal to 1 upon b plus b p of x minus c p y so this will be a value of a lambda now what we have to do we have to put the value of lambda in a x and y separately so first of all i have to put the value of lambda in x now i can write it in x here is x is equal to a upon this this will be a lambda so i can put the value of lambda that is 1 upon b plus b p of x minus c p y into p of x into p of x uh, uh, i can write it p of x here p of x and uh, minus b so i can write it a upon a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of x minus b so this will be a x star this will be an x star now similarly i have to put the value of lambda in y so same i can put the value of a y. I have to put the value of lambda in y y equal to 1 minus a upon uh, lambda into p of y so lambda 1 upon b plus b p of x minus c p y this will be a value of lambda into p of y plus c so y will becomes equal to 1 minus a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of y plus c so this will be a value of a y star that is a y star and this will be a lambda star so i have i will find all these values now uh, we check whether the condition is satisfied or not satisfied in the uh, partial derivatives uh, now we can write it uh, the optimal values that is x star a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of x minus b and similarly y star is that is equal to 1 minus a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of y minus b and lambda is there that is lambda lambda is 1 upon uh, b plus b p of x minus c p y so this will be a lambda star so these are the values now uh, we check the conditions whether the conditions is satisfied or not satisfied so uh, in, in the uh, zx in the first partial derivative i can uh, put the value of x 
here and lambda so what will be the result now we can uh, from uh, 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 partial derivative constraint that is a upon uh, x plus b minus lambda p of x less than or equal to 0 now we have to put the value of x and lambda so a upon x is there a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of x plus b plus uh, minus b plus b minus b plus b minus b and plus b minus and lambda lambda is there 1 upon 1 upon b plus b p of x minus c p y less than equal to 0 this will be a cancel out so i can write it a p of x a into b plus b p of x minus c p y uh, minus 1 upon b plus b p of x minus c p y less than equal to 0 if i can cancel out this so uh, and here is uh, uh, lambda p of x so p of x is there p of x is there uh, so uh, this will be a uh, cancel out so 0 e less than equal to 0 so condition is satisfied first uh, equation is uh, satisfied now we i have to put uh, uh, the values uh, in second equation that is a partial derivative uh, now uh, we can take the second uh, partial derivative that is 1 minus a 1 minus a uh, upon y minus c minus lambda p of y less than or equal to 0 now i have to put the y and lambda 1 minus a and y the value of y 1 minus a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of y minus b uh, mi minus c rather b is that is a c that is a c minus c and uh, plus c minus c plus c minus c so this will be i hope so that is a plus c yes plus c uh, and minus lambda p y upon lambda is b plus b p of x minus c p y less than or equal to zero so this will be a cancel out i can write it p y upon b plus b p of x minus c p y and this will be also cancel out and minus p y upon b plus b p of x minus c p y less than or equal to zero so uh, this will be also zero less than or equal to zero condition is satisfied so second partial derivative also satisfied now i have to take the last third equation and uh, whether satisfied or not now lastly uh, in our third partial derivative that is equal to a b minus x p x minus y p y greater than or equal to zero so b x x is the value of that is a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of x into p of x minus y 1 minus a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of y uh, plus c <coughs> plus c into p of y plus c into p of y greater than or equal to 0 plus c and equal to 0 now b i can write b minus uh, i can mul uh, this will be a cancel out and now multiply that is a b plus a b p x minus a c p y and same here is uh, when i multiply this term this will be a cancel out and this will be a c p y so 1 minus a and b plus b p of x minus c p y and plus c p y this will be and greater than or equal to 0 now b minus a b 
plus ABPX minus ACPY. Now I, I have to multiply all these values. Uh, so multiplying these values uh, B plus BP of X minus CPY minus CPY minus AB minus ABPX uh, plus ACPY plus CPY and less greater than or equal to 0. So B minus AB now sign will be change of all the equations ACPY here is also uh, sign will be changed minus BPF P of X uh, plus CPY plus AB plus ABPX minus ACPY minus CPY greater than or equal to 0. So all will be cancelled out B minus B is greater than or equal to 0. So 0 greater than or equal to 0 condition also satisfied. Condition also satisfied. So all these conditions are satisfied. So these will be the uh, optimal uh, solution which he asked in part uh, that is E in E part. That is the optimal solution. X star, Y star and lambda star. Uh, now in uh, F part, F part, F part uh, uh, ask that is a maximum value function, maximum uh, value function, value function uh, or in other words that is a utility function. So utility function is there that is u is equal to a ln x plus b plus 1 minus a ln y minus c. So we just only put the values of x and y only a l n x here is the here is the x optimal value that is a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of x minus b and plus b here is the plus b my plus 1 minus a and now we have to put the value of y that is the optimal value y that is 1 minus a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of y plus c minus c. So this will be a cancel out this will be a cancel out. So a ln a into b plus p p x minus c p y upon p of x plus 1 minus a into that is 1 minus a uh, here also ln sorry l also ln 1 minus a that is ln ln 1 1 minus a 1 minus a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of y. So this will be an maximum value function. That is a part of uh, that is f part. Now we have to move uh, in part g where he asked uh, that is a comparative derivative comparative statistics uh, derivative. So first of all partial p x upon uh, partial x upon partial p of x partial x upon partial p of x that is partial p of x and here is the value of x x star a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of x minus b so uh, uh, we have to take the derivative of a uh, P of x. So uh, we take uh, the quotient rule because p of x and nominator and denominator bo both of them. So we have to take the uh, quotient rule. Uh, so uh, I can directly uh, put the answers because uh, it's a very simple that is a quotient rule. So this will be uh, an answer of uh, uh, partial x over partial p of x that is a into a into 
b माइनस सी पी वाई ए इंटू बी माइनस सी पी वाई अपॉन पी एक्स ग्रेटर स्केर दैट इज अ ग्रेटर देन जीरो ग्रेटर देन जीरो नाउ वी है अदर डेरिवेटिव दैट इज पार्शियल एक्स स्टार अपॉन पार्शियल पी ऑफ वाई पार्शियल पी ऑफ वाई नाउ पार्शियल अपॉन पार्शियल पी ऑफ वाई दैट इज ए इंटू बी प्लस बी पी ऑफ एक्स माइनस सी पी वाई अपॉन पी ऑफ एक्स माइनस बी नाउ वी हैव टू जस्ट ओनली आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पी ऑफ वाई सो पी ऑफ वाई इज हेयर इज देयर सो ऑल द अदर्स विल बी बी एंड पी बी पी पी एफ एक्स विल बिकम इक्वल टू अ जीरो दिस विल बी ऑल्सो अ जीरो सो ए इंटू माइनस सी अपॉन पी ऑफ एक्स That is equal to minus a c upon p of x less than zero. Now same partial x star over partial that is equal to a b. Now partial over partial b that is a into b plus b p of x minus c p y upon p of x minus b. And same likely b will be a one derivative and all the other very der derivatives will be a zero. So A into one upon p of x that is equal to a upon p of x which is greater than zero. Now uh, uh, similarly, similarly uh, we have to take all the deriv other derivatives that is y partial y star upon partial p of x partial y star upon partial p of y and partial y star upon partial b. Similarly, partial lambda upon partial p of x, partial lambda upon partial p of y, and partial lambda upon partial b. So all these can be solved uh, in the similar patterns. So thank you very much.